this great idea, we are indebted to Pythagoras. But there were deep ironies and contradictions in his thoughts. He believed that the laws of nature could be deduced by pure thought. He and his followers were not basically experimentalists. They were mathematicians and they were thoroughgoing mystics. Instead of wanting everyone to share and know of their discoveries, the Pythagoreans suppressed the square root of two and the dodecahedron. This tendency found its most effective advocate in a follower of Pythagoras named Plato. Plato expressed hostility to observation and experiment. He taught contempt for the real world and disdain for the practical application of scientific knowledge. Plato's followers succeeded in extinguishing the light of science and experiment that had been kindled by Democritus and the other Ionians. The Pythagoreans had won. Their views were suppressed, ridiculed, and forgotten by the Platonists and by the Christians who adopted much of the philosophy of Plato.